Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing here an opening for the Magic Arena Starter Kit. This is definitely a very interesting product. It's a product that actually introduces or at least encourages us to actually engage with the online game, which is Magic Arena. And this is something that I actually expected Yu-Gi-Oh to do a lot with Duel Links, but they don't. Even Master Duel, they don't really do anything about this. So the thing is, uh, this is kind of like going in a really good direction here, uh, putting players into a different perspective on the actual game itself by moving from a paper type game into a more online variant. But that being said, you do get playable decks here, so uh, don't get that confused. Uh, it is definitely amazing. You just get a code card which allows you to redeem these decks onto Magic Arena, which allows you to play these decks and test it out. You know, while uh, you could actually just spend your time outside of Arena building these decks and modifying it to then be able to take out and play with your mates or at our locals. Uh, but yeah, this is really amazing because uh, firstly, you get two 60 card decks here. So you get two decks to play um, or to choose from to play. Really nice. They are mono colors, but it's kind of good because it is designed mostly for the beginners here which is technically myself because I am just technically getting into the game despite playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a very long time uh, I don't really have too much knowledge on magic itself so this is definitely going to be a really fantastic product for beginners but not so much for people who might be veterans in the actual game itself However, with that being said, if you are missing a few cards that actually come in this set, then definitely feel free to get it. It is not an expensive product. It is only $15, I believe. Very cheap, very affordable, and uh, yeah, it's just great to get you started on the game. So without further ado, I'm just going to get this opened up, and we're just going to see what's actually installed with this particular uh, deck itself, or at least the two decks that we actually get in here. Alright, so inside we have our starter kit play guide. I um, believe it's just teaching us how to actually play the game, which is fantastic um, because it can be a little overwhelming with the rules. But uh, yeah, look at this. There's a glossary of actual like keywords that allow us to learn uh, what we can actually do, you know, for certain cards. So that's definitely very important. For example, flash or First Strike, or Exile. For anyone who's just getting into the game for the very first time, it could be very overwhelming. So to be able to carry this around uh, would definitely be helpful, at least until you've memorized uh, all of these. So for example, uh, Reach is something that uh, I occasionally uh, forget or don't see too often. Um, yeah, it's just really fantastic to have something like this. Um, of course, it's not really common to see that anymore, to actually see like a player guide, but uh, it's still really helpful for a beginner's point of view. Uh, but with that being said, we also get here this very nice deck box. Um, I feel like this is a very small deck box, uh, which is quite unfortunate because the thing is, with a deck box this size, you could only fit the cards in right there. Uh, unsleeved. So what I want to do is at least make it big enough for you to be able to sleeve up the cards and then be able to put it in there as well. But you know what, it's fine. You still get like somewhat of a nice storage box I guess. It's decent, uh, but it's not the most amazing thing out there. Um, pretty cool though, like the artwork, but uh, at best, this is just to store your spare cards if you actually need. Um, we do get two because obviously we have two decks. Are they the same? No, they are actually different, so that's definitely very nice. Uh, but with that being said, we are here for the actual decks itself. So let's just get these opened up. Alright, so here we are. Here's our first deck. Here's our second deck. And this is not Commander or anything, so it's not like we have... Uh, the command cards there it is more so just the featured card of the actual deck itself so uh, we have our two featured cards the first one here is called Kogla the Titan Ape uh, very interesting to see what it actually uh, is here very powerful this is uh, typical for a green deck of course uh, very nice but we also have over here 
uh, Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, which is a vampire cleric. Very nice here. Uh, just pretty awesome. Uh, personally, I lean towards uh, black decks, but uh, with that being said, being, being able to combine the two and make a Golgari deck, uh, that would actually be pretty interesting as well. But with that being said, these are two main featured cards, uh, which are foiled at least, but the rest of our decks are over here. So let's just uh, open it up and see what we have to work with here. So I'm just gonna pry this open. Very easy to take out the plastic. And let's take a look here and see what cards we get. So uh, we do have some very nice cards. Uh, I don't really know what this is, but given by its code here, that is going to be Ikoria. Um, it looks like a mix of cards anyway, of course, which is fine. That makes sense, but uh, I'm not too sure about these cards. You guys will have to tell me uh, the value of these particular cards or the relevance of these cards in this particular format, be it either Standard, Pioneer, or Commander. Uh, but yeah, this is just something that's really interesting to me. Uh, as someone who's just getting in, it's just really fun to buy cards and kind of accumulate a collection so that I have a bit more things to choose from. So yeah, it's definitely very nice. I think Plummet is really nice. Um, but yeah, we still have a lot of different cards here. Um, obviously this would give us multiple copies of cards because it is a standard deck. Um, but yeah, look at this here. We have different types of lands, which I like that they have different artwork and it's not just all the same, but this is all forest, so definitely quite a lot here. And uh, we have this over here, which is kind of like a bit of a small guide on how to play to a certain degree as well, and a bit on the format. Uh, but over here we do have our Demon of Loathing, which is a really awesome card. 7-7, seven, seven. this is with Flying and Trample as well, I like that already. Um, pretty much one of the reasons why black is a really awesome color to play. Uh, with that being said, let's get this one opened up and let's see what's actually in this one. So, we have over here our Demon of Loathing, um, a few of these other cards here, which you know, is pretty awesome. Again, please let me know uh, the relevance of these cards. I mean, this one, destroy a target creature or planeswalker, that's great and all, but is the cost actually worth it? I don't necessarily know. You know, so it is quite interesting to see all these cards and kind of uh, figure out what's actually going to be good for the game itself, be it uh, in one format or another and that's kind of the beauty of magic itself being able to play with uh, so many formats is just definitely really interesting and there we have it a lot of interesting artwork um, that is varied across the swamp cards which is definitely very nice uh, but yeah that's essentially it for this particular uh, deck itself um, fantastic two decks um, so we have something to play with and something to learn from as well so I'm definitely really pleased about that but with that being said definitely leave me your thoughts as to what you guys actually think about this particular product itself is it actually a good product does it actually come with uh, great value here because keep in mind $15 really cheap as opposed to a commander deck which is like $60 or something, I'm not too sure. But of course, thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you again in the next video, but till then, I hope you guys have a great day.